That's not Chanel. <laughs> Everybody, welcome back to my channel. You know who it is. It's Chris Style. This video here, I have some surprises, but you have to watch the entire video because it's going to be in the video. This video is going to be about my fragrance collection. If you um, have seen my earlier videos where I was testing out a lot of samples, I have created a elite fragrance group. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all my fragrance. Let's get into it. The first fragrance I wanna come on and show you, it's really not, well, it is a fragrance, but it's not. Um, it's gonna be the Tom Ford Sola Blanc. I like to put this on me um, on the days that I'm going out and I just want that shimmer. It smells so, so good too. It's like a light smell of coconut. And you know what it really reminds me of? It reminds me of that coconut lime scent um, that used to be. <laughs> so I'll just kind of spray this on my hand so you can kind of see the shimmer. And so I like to just kind of work that into my chest and my neck area when I need that extra glow. So this is what I like to wear. And then I will put another fragrance on top. But like I said, you can in fact wear this by itself because it does have a scent. So some of the um, notes for this is coconut, white floral, sweet, amber, tube rose, yellow floral, woody, warm, spicy, and nutty. I think Baccarat has one, but I don't think I want to spend that much on a shimmering oil. So this is what the top looks like. It's really nice. And this is what it looks like all around. And if you see, um, a lot of times the liquid does separate from the shimmer and you just have to shake it up really good and you get the whole entire thing. So this bottle is a 1.5 ounce and it retails for $34. So this is not expensive. So if you're looking for a fragrance and a designer fragrance and you don't wanna break the bank just yet, I think this is a really good alternative. That is my first quote unquote fragrance. Um, so let's move on to the next one. My next fragrance is the Dior Eyes Fine Oud. So I believe I'm saying that right, Eyes Fine Oud. This fragrance, they raved about it so much on TikTok. Well, what, this is what they say, a lot of um, Middle Eastern women wear this. Um, so I said, hmm, let me see how it smells. So I got a sample from Amazon and I smelled the sample and I loved it. This is going to give you that oud type of smell. So it's in your face loud. So if you're not an oud type of person, you may not like this. I loved, I love oud. Um, and I use oud more for um, my going out at night, evening wear, type of like elegant. Um, so anything nighttime, I would use oud for. So this just makes me, it just makes me smell and feel like money. <laughs> That's basically what it makes me feel like. And if you um, get this, the top is magnetic. So I purchased this from the Dior website and the packaging was so beautiful. They give you like a little duster. They give you a big box. It The packaging is to die for, okay? And then this is what the top looks like. So this retails um, for $125. I have the 1.3 ounce, but they do have different ounces. The ounce above this one is 310 and I think they have another, another ounce for about maybe four or 500. I don't feel like that I need that much because I only wear this for certain occasions. So this is going to be perfect for me. So the notes for the Dior Ice Fawn is going to be Oud, Rose, Woody, Amber, Warm Spice, Patchouli, Balsamic, Floral, Powdery, and Musky. You can definitely smell the oud and the musk um, in here. 
So if that is a little bit too alarming for you, this is not your girl. But if you want to try something different and you want to try an oud, but this is the one. You definitely have to make sure you wear an outfit, wear it very well, and you have to make sure you feel confident, you feel luxurious when you're wearing this because that is this type of scent. It's gonna command attention. So the next fragrance we all know, she needs no introduction at all. It is the Killian Angel Share. This is definitely that girl. So at first I was a little hesitant about the smell, um, but when I got the sample and I would put it on like every day, I was like, this works so well with my body. I had to get it. So I have the 1.7 um, fluid ounce and this retails for $210. Um, I got this directly from the Killian site and the packaging was beautiful. I'm sure you've seen this everywhere. It looks like a brandy type glass that you just kind of put back. And I love that. I really love that they did that. I think it's so cute. It's the perfect winter scent. It pairs well with a lot of things. I normally wear this when I'm going out to a nice event. So I'll wear this for brunch. I'll wear this if I'm going out at night. I'll also wear it if I'm going to an event during, during the day. I think that she can definitely cross over and she is the star of the show. And that's why a lot of people have her. And when I wear this, it's just like the perfect blend of grown woman. It really, it really smells like grown woman. Like this is a grown woman woman type of fragrance if you're trying to you know find a fragrance for the winter time and be a little bit elegant but you don't want to do something as far as like a must because it might be a little bit too much for you killian angel share is that girl if you want to go on a date i think this is going to be a perfect fragrance for valentine's day so if you don't have it Make sure you get it before Valentine's Day. Um, but this here, if you need a staple in your collection, it's going to be Killian Angel Share. And the notes are going to be woody, warm, spicy, sweet, vanilla, cinnamon, amber, powdery. I'm a type of person that I do not like vanilla. If the fragrance is too overbearing with vanilla, I'm not going to like it. I just, I'm not a vanilla scent type of person. I just don't like it at all. You can, you can't really smell the vanilla in this fragrance. I know it does say vanilla, but it's very subtle. I get more of the sweet and spicy more than anything. So if you haven't, go out and get Angel Share. Okay, what are you waiting on? This is it. It's pricey, but it's definitely worth it. This one is really near and dear to my heart because when I was starting out with my collection, she is the first one that I got. The YSL Mon Paris. And if you are looking for a nice floral and fruity scent, this is gonna be the one. So I have the 1.6 fluid ounce and it retails for $108. Um, that is basically all I need. And if you see, it has the tie. It is so cute. It reminds me of like um, Carl uh, from Chanel that was over Chanel before he passed. It reminds, it gives me that type of vibe. So I love it. And this is going to be the top. It's all glass. And is she still smells great. She still smells great. When I wanted to try to figure out what works for me and what smells I actually like, I gravitated to this very quickly. So I knew that I was more of a floral type of person. I like florals more so than anything else. I do, in fact, have, of course, other notes of perfumes, but florals is like my main thing. And with this one, I like to... Let me spray it because I haven't sprayed her. 
with this one i like to wear her during like a, a an event for daytime so like if i'm maybe dressed up or you can do brunch with her if you have maybe a presentation and you just kind of want to you know put something on and make you feel a little bit confident i think this is going to be a great choice you can see i do kind of use her <laughs> i do use her such a beautiful smell this is my first baby of my collection and i will always use this it's just something that you can kind of put on if you don't know what you're feeling that day this is like a go-to and so the notes for this is going to be fruity sweet fresh white floral patchouli citrus woody and floral so with this fragrance i do notice that it does linger especially if you spray it on your clothing it lingers for quite some time so you'll get a very long wear out of it throughout the day why is that my paris all right so we are going to get into the giveaway so i want to thank all of my subscribers for rocking with me for so long and i couldn't be more thankful for all of you that have subscribed that have liked that have comments and i can't thank you guys enough for being there and my stylista crew so because of that i want to show my appreciation and i am going to be having two winners for this giveaway for the giveaway rules on YouTube, you must be subscribed to my channel, like the luxury perfume video, and in the comment section below, answer the question, what does having a signature scent mean to you? Next to your answer, place your IG handle as well. On Instagram, public profiles only, no private profiles. You must follow me on Instagram at I am Chris Style and be on the lookout for your notifications. I will announce the winners on Instagram first. For the winners, the first place winner will get a full bottle of designer fragrance valued at around $200, Juvia's Place Mini Eyeshadow Palette, and a NYX Gloss Trio Lip Kit. The second place winner will get a full bottle of designer fragrance valued at $850, a Juvia's Place Mini Eyeshadow Palette, and NYX Gloss Trio Lip Kit. And I am going to run this giveaway for two weeks. I'm going to actually tell you right here when that giveaway will be running, the start and when it will end. So you have to make sure you're doing it on this specific video. And then I will announce the winners for the first place and I will announce the winners for the second place. My next fragrance is the Marc Jacobs Perfect. I have this in a 1.6 fluid ounce and this retails for $107. Now this fragrance right here is my everyday fragrance. I literally put this on every single day. I will put this on when I'm going out to run errands. I'll put this on if I'm just going to the store. Oh, it smells so good. It's really light. It's a really light fragrance. It's more of like a fruity floral fragrance. So if you're looking for a very light fragrance to maybe wear all the time, this is definitely going to be it. I don't normally wear this like out on special events or occasions just because it's so light but this does have a great dry down and also it does linger on your clothing very long sometimes i notice that it lingers to the next day on my clothing so this is going to be your go-to for everyday fragrance and it's so cute with the top it has like a has cherries a bow a, and then it has the mark jacobs right here with the heart this bottle is pretty big um, especially for me to kind of use it every single day. It's totally worth it. I promise you. I promise you on that. This is a hill I'll die on. Definitely. This is going to be one of those fragrances that 
it's really fun if you want to go you know do a girl's day out um if you just kind of want to do a maybe walk in the park or just a just a stroll this is definitely going to be that girl i feel like you can even wear this on a date as well because it's really sweet but it's not too overbearing so this is definitely going to be your go-to for literally everything but you can definitely wear this in the evening um especially if you decide that you don't want to do anything or if you're lounging around and you're having people over, this is going to be that fragrance. So the notes that this has is going to be fruity, green, almond, aromatic, woody, sweet, nutty, yellow floral, musky, powdery. I tend to not really kind of smell the powdery portion of it as much as I smell the, the sweet and the fruity. If you have maybe like a daughter or any or child, you know, and you want to get them started on fragrance, I think this is a great first starter, a perfect first starter, especially if they're more so like the Bath and Body Works or the Victoria's Secret Mist. This is a great kind of usher into your fragrance, in my opinion. So this is a beautiful scent. So this is Burberry Her. This is another fragrance that I wear literally every day. What I like to do is I like to actually take this and this and mix them pair together. This pairing is to die for. I promise you, you will never pair anything else once you pair these. This is like the best thing since sliced bread, literally. So they do have the Burberry Her and it's more pink. I got that at first and I liked how the uh, sample smelled like in the book. But when I actually got the bottle, I, I kind of hated it. It's pink is more like berries and I just, I disliked the smell. I just really disliked it. But you, you know, you may like it, but I really disliked it. So I went and I tried this one and I love this smell. It gives you more like, um like a pear, in my opinion. It's definitely fruity, it's definitely light, and it's just such a beautiful scent. I think this is gonna be one of those scents if you wanna go out to brunch or if you wanna go shopping, this is gonna be the scent for you. So the entire bottle is very minimalistic, but the actual smell is far from that. And I just... Oh, I just love it. It's just so light. It's very light. You can even use this getting out the shower. That's literally how light it is. But paired with the Marc Jacobs Perfect, it's just so phenomenal. So if you do try it, make sure you let me know. This is what I have in my hand, the 1.6 fluid ounce, and this retails for $92. So this is really um, a good price point, especially for a lot of the designer fragrances. This is more so I feel like on the low end, you do have some that's in the 70 range. But for it to be like a new fragrance, this is definitely on the low end as far as pricing. Main Accords is going to be fruity, fresh, sweet, floral, white floral, musky, rose, woody, aquatic. So when I smelled this, I figured that it did kind of smell like that Dolce & Gabbana blue. It doesn't smell exactly like it, but it does have some remnants of it. It's basically to give you a roundabout of how light it is. It's more so more of a fruity and I would say musky. And I know that might seem a little alarming <laughs> to kind of smell together. However, it works very well in this fragrance. So this right here is another one of those fragrances if you want to get it for someone that's just starting out to kind of usher them into designer fragrance this is going to be that girl and then it's burberry so i mean come on of course you gotta get it for them well, if in the event you're looking for something light and you're looking for something very sweet aquatic like this is going to be it this is Giorgio Armani, My Way. This is the fragrance that I got a lot of compliments on. I was just kind of wearing it just to run errands or if I needed to take care of any type of business or anything like that. And I would wear this 
and I got so many compliments. Like everyone was saying how great I smelled and oh, what are you wearing? This is definitely, I think you may see this a lot as well, but this fragrance definitely lives up to the hype. Like it definitely does. It gives you more of, I don't know, it gives me a nostalgia. It brings me back to like the 90s, but not in a smelly type of way where it's like, wait, that's, that smells like really old or anything like that. But it gives me the nostalgia of like the 90s. Um, and the bottle is very sleek. And then here is the top of it. I don't know. It looks like maybe a little gem. And it says Giorgio Armani on the top. But yes, that's exactly what it gives me. It gives me like a 90s smell. If you smell like your aunt or, you know, your mom or anything like that, I feel like if it was 90s in the bottle, I feel like Giorgio Armani would be that. This definitely is a nice fragrance. If you want to take it up a notch, I mean, you don't maybe want to smell sweetie or uh, if you don't want to... Hey, sweetie! <laughs> <laughs> don't want to smell sweet or if you don't want to smell fruity this is going to be a great fragrance but my way is definitely living up to her height and i have the 1.7 fluid ounce and it retails for 102 dollars the main notes for this is going to be white floral tuberose citrus animalic and vanilla this is definitely one of the another fragrance that has a vanilla in it that's not overpowering. I feel like when you wear this, it gives you more of that I'm laid back, but I'm sophisticated, if that makes sense. This does smell very, very long. I had recently purchased the new Prada fragrance. I felt like maybe that could have been my last fragrance to complete my collection. The Prada fragrance in this smells similar. Under a, a post on Instagram and someone had my way and they had the Prada. So I did ask, I said, hey, do you feel like they smell alike? So that person didn't specifically answer. However, another person answered me and said she works at Sephora and she said, yes, they actually smell very alike. If my nose is playing tricks on me, let me know. If you want to do one of the other, uh, if you want to do Prada, do Prada. If you want to do My Way, do My Way. I did notice with the Prada, it did not stay on as long on me. So I did try it out one time before I said, let me go ahead and return it. But it didn't work on me. Then I have this baby right here. And this is Chanel. This is Chanel. That's not Chanel. Uh, but this is Chanel Chance. I found out how to pronounce this word right here. It's pronounced fresh in French. So if you're French and you are saying, wait a minute, it's close, but not exactly, let me know in the comments. <laughs> the Chance collections have different colors and different scents. I, first off, my favorite color is green. However, this was the best smelling to me. So I do actually have the 3.4 fluid ounce and it retails for $125. And this is also one of those ones where it's a everyday or daytime wear. So I do wear this on daytime occasions and I like to spray a lot of it. It smells so good. It's more of like a floral type of smell. You don't get fruity in here, at least I don't smell fruity. Then this is what the top looks like and it has the Chanel emblem. I love Chanel things, so getting this is really something that I really wanted to try to get as far as a fragrance. I don't like Chanel number no. fives. I don't kind of like how they smell. This is a very great spring fragrance too. You can put as much of this on as you want and it's not overbearing. I will say the only con about this specifically, it doesn't last very long as my other fragrances. You're gonna get maybe a few hours out of it. 
and then you're not going to get too much of a smell but because i can respray it if i need to because i have so much of it i really truly like the smell of this it just gives me such a <sighs> greenery sunflower floral running through the fields i mean i'm not running through the fields but this is kind of what it takes me it takes me there and I think this is one of those bridge fragrances too, especially if you want to have like Chanel attached to you in any way and you don't want to go and buy the clothing or the shoes. I think that this is a great bridge fragrance for um, a young adult or a teenager. So the notes that we have for this is going to be woody, citrus, aromatic, floral, musky, powdery, earthy, patchouli, white floral, and soft, spicy. And now that I've read the notes, I definitely get citrus. I definitely can smell citrus in here. But this is the one that I gravitated to more, so I love it. And the last fragrance from the collection for now is going to be my G. Fanchi L'Interdite. So in French, it means forbidden. They do have a red one that a lot of people actually get. I haven't smelled that. But I did, in fact, get this sample, and the sample wasn't like your typical sample. It was a roll-on. And I tell you, when I first rolled this on, I was just taken back. This right here is going to give you that spitfire, you need to wear your red lipstick, you're in your sexy cocktail dress. This is that. This is that. This is what this is very much going to give you. Oh, God, it so, it smells good. I smell in this. is It's more like a musk smell. This is very overpowering. A little. When I tell you a little goes a long way, it does. So one time I had, I was going out at night and I had sprayed this and I got in the elevator and a lady was coughing a little bit because I sprayed so much of it. <laughs> And that's when I learned this is, you really need just a little, just a little bit, just a little bit. The, this is going to be the bottle and the top is just like a dome top in a way. I have the 2.7 fluid ounce and this retails for $824. It's more of that date night wear and you don't need a lot, just a little dab. You can even spray it and walk into it. This is really nice and it's G on G. Why wouldn't it be? The notes are citrus, white floral, tuberose, woody, musky, powdery, animalic, sweet. All right, this is basically going to complete my collection. Make sure that you enter the giveaway. And once again, thank you guys so much for being there for me. And I cannot wait to see all of your replies on this question. I feel